Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Elements fans. Today's questions come in via our Facebook page, and there's actually a couple questions that are very similar, so I'm going to answer both questions with this one Ask Bob tutorial. Uh, the first one came in from, here we go, from Mary. Uh, Mary used to use a tool that we had called the Magic Extractor, which would let you easily remove the background from a photo. Uh, the Magic Extractor uh, isn't in the product anymore, and so I'm going to show you how to do it without the Magic Extractor. And then I also got a question from Sandy about changing the background. And Sandy was nice enough to send in a picture. Sandy, I'm assuming that's you. So uh, I'm actually going to use those two pictures and show you how to extract an object from a photo using both of them and then also come in and show you how to replace the background. So let's get started. Let me switch over to Photoshop Elements. Here we go. So I've got uh, both of the photos open here in Photoshop Elements. Uh, this one of a little Christmas ornament and then uh, we've got this other one of Sandy. So let's do the Christmas ornament one first. Uh, first thing I want to do is switch from quick edit mode. You can see up here at the top of the editor uh, we have different editing modes. There's quick, guided, and expert. Photoshop Elements starts you off in quick, but some of the things that we're doing today are actually only available in the expert mode. So go ahead up here and click on expert to switch into the expert mode. Now for removing or extracting this uh, Christmas ornament uh, off of this background, it's pretty straightforward. The first thing that we want to do is over here in our toolbar in this top section called Select, uh, the bottom right one is some of our quick selection tools. So go ahead and click on that. It may not look just like this one. I currently have the Refine Selection Brush tool selected. But go ahead and click on that. If your tool options down along the bottom are not open, click on this Tool Options button right here down at the bottom. And then within your tool options for your selection tools, this top one right here is called the Quick Selection tool. Go ahead and click on Quick Selection and make sure Add is selected. There's uh, New, there's Add, there's Subtract. So go ahead and make sure you click on the middle one here, which is Add, which means each time we drag with our Quick Selection brush, uh, we're going to be adding to the selection. Now the really cool thing about the Quick Selection brush is it has built-in edge detection to help you make selections quickly. So we want to adjust our brush size. There's a slider here that lets us adjust the size. Uh, we want it a little bit bigger uh, so we can kind of see it here. You can see it there in the center. I can either use that slider or I can use the left and right bracket keys on my keyboard. That's a shortcut that uh, is really beneficial for changing brush sizes. So you're probably going to want to learn that one uh, and get used to using the left bracket and the right bracket. Those are the two buttons just to the right of the P key on your keyboard. So you want a brush size maybe about like that. And all you have to do is start dragging. And you can see as I drag around this Christmas ornament, the quick selection brush is finding edges of things and automatically jumping the selection over to the edge. Now sometimes it goes too far. You can see down here along the bottom it jumped off of the ornament and onto the shadow. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. So just kind of go around the entire ornament and get a rough selection done. So we want to get the snowman, get... Uh, his hand over here. If we need, if we're working in little tight areas, we would make our brush a little smaller and kind of make sure everything all the way around is selected. And I'm going to skip for now selecting this uh, kind of hanger part of the ornament. I'll show you how to deal with that in just a second. Okay, so now I want to zoom in a little bit around these edges and fine tune things. So I'm going to grab my, um, my zoom tool over here in the top left and just click to start to zoom in to where we can actually see very precisely uh, where we have a selection made, which is on the inside of these uh, marching ants, they're called, and where we don't. And you can also see that there's been some mistakes, right? That quick selection brush didn't do a perfect job of finding the edges, and so we're going to fine-tune that right now. So I'm going to go back and reselect my quick select brush over here in my tool panel. And then come over here, if I hold my space key down, I can drag my photo around. 
and I'm going to use the Alt or Option key, depending upon whether you're on Windows or Mac, to change from the Add option in my Quick Selection to the Subtract option. And you can see when I hold my Alt or Option key down, the center of my uh, selection brush changes from a plus to a minus. So when it's plus, I'm adding to my selection. So you can see if I drag here, I add, my selection gets bigger. If I hold my Alt or Option key down and I drag, it removes or subtracts that selection. So I can go around the edges and fine tune things where the, selection brush, the quick selection brush didn't do a perfect job. I can either add more in uh, or I can subtract some off and get it kind of perfect. So I mentioned earlier I skipped the hanger because I wanted to do that uh, zoomed in like this. Let's actually double click our zoom tool and zoom in even a little more. Now back to our quick selection brush. Now this is way too big to do fine detail like this. So I want to make it smaller. Again, I can either use the slider down here in my tool options, or what I do is just use that left bracket key for smaller, the right bracket key for bigger. So I want to get it pretty small, smaller than the width of the hanger. And just click and drag, and now I'm selecting inside anything I drag on. So if I drag around, you can see it's doing that edge detection using Quick Select to find the edges of the hanger. Now again, it sometimes gets a little over aggressive and gets outside. Well, just hold your Alt or Option key down and fine tune things a little bit. Like this big area in the middle, just drag over that to get that out of the selection. If you've got really tight corners like this right here, uh, use that left bracket key to make your brush really small. Hold your Alt key down and you can subtract from the selection. All uh, right, so we want to do some fine tuning this. Every now and then your photo, the edge detection stuff may not work very well. Like right in here, that's kind of in a shadow, that's kind of hard. And so instead of using the quick selection tool, the one just to the right of it is called the selection brush tool. So switch over to the selection brush tool and it works just the same way. If you brush, it will add to the selection. If you hold your Alt or Option key down and brush, it will subtract from the selection. So it works just like that quick selection brush, but it's not doing any of the edge detection. So you're really just painting your selection on and off. And again, you can make it small to fit into tight little, oops, I gotta hold my Alt key down, fit into tight little spots like that and get my selection looking pretty good. So toggle between the selection brush and the quick selection brush to get the results that you want. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on the selection brush because we wanna get this sort of gold band uh, here as well. So just kind of paint over what you want to select. And as you're thinking about to select something or not, um, the parts that you select are what we're gonna keep in a second. And the parts that you don't select are what are going to be erased. So kind of do some fine tuning, get into all the corners Something like that. Now I'm not going to go do your uh, entire ornament um, just in the interest of time. Hopefully you can get the idea of how these two tools work in helping me make a selection. Also something like this, the hole through the ornament, maybe I want that to be removed as well. So I can just hold my Alt or Option key down, paint around inside of there with my selection brush to deselect a hole right in the middle of my photo and that'll get removed as well. So any background that we add would show right through that hole. So I'm gonna double click the hand tool um, to kind of make sure we've got a pretty good selection. Uh, oh, we forgot to deal with that shadow around the bottom. So let's go in and, and just zoom into the shadow. Again, it works exactly the same way. Let's maybe use our quick selection brush, hold our Alt or Option key down, maybe make our brush a little bigger. Hold the Alt or Option key down. Oops, I'm sorry, zoom in again and drag across the shadow. And you can see it moves those marching ants up to the next edge it detects, which is the bottom of your, um, bottom of your Christmas ornament. Uh, it actually went a little too far, so I'm gonna leave it on plus or add, i.e. I'm not pressing my Alt or Option key down, and go in and fine tune that. And might as well, while we're here, fix up under the snowman a little bit, uh, that kind of stuff. Now we don't have to be perfect, because I'm going to show you in just a second 
uh, how we can even fine-tune things after we've made our selection. Oh, looks like we missed the D here. Go ahead and select that D. So look on the insides as well uh, for any of those marching ants that you might have inadvertently gotten there. Okay, so now that we've got our selection made, we want to extract uh, whatever we have selected from our photo. And the way I usually do that is with something called a layer mask. Over here on the right in our layers panel, uh, we have a background layer, right? That's the original photo that we had. This icon right here is how we add a layers mask. So go ahead and click on that and magically everything that we had selected will still be shown. Let me double click the hand so we can zoom out. Uh, everything that we, sh that we had selected is shown. Everything that we did not have selected is hidden. And the way this mask works, as you can see over here uh, on our layer, this layer mask that was created, wherever I paint with black, that layer is hidden. Wherever I paint with white, that layer is showing. So I can actually zoom in, even though I've done the removal bit, I can zoom in and fix things up. So you can see around the ornament, we didn't have a great selection made. If I click on that layer mask, make sure it's got this lighter blue rectangle around it, and grab my paintbrush in the draw section. So go ahead and click on your paintbrush, and then either draw with black or white. If I draw with black, I'm essentially erasing or hiding those pixels, and I can fine tune things. If I draw with white, so if I switch from white to black, and I draw on my layer mask, that layer gets re-shown. Now, of course, that's not what I want to do, but just sort of you can see uh, that's how it works. So I can flip back to black. I can get rid of that stuff. Uh, the reason I use the layer mask instead of the eraser really is because if I make a mistake like that, I can just switch my colors back to white and paint along the hanger and bring it back. And so between painting black or white, changing my brush size, uh, I can fine tune exactly where the object that I want to extract is shown or hidden. And I'll do a little more here, um, painting with black to hide, just to kind of show you how we can get things kind of fine tuned and, and fixed up. Uh, I'm not going to do your whole photo because uh, I think you get the idea by now. So double click on the hand and we've got that object, your Christmas ornament, extracted from the photo. If we want it on just its own layer without having to have the layer mask, uh, we can do a um, create a new layer, just drag this layer up to our new layer icon and then right click on the layer mask and say apply. And so what that did is just applied that layer mask to my photo now I can't go back and fine tune it. Uh, I could erase pixels, but any of the pixels that were under the black section of the mask have now been deleted from my image. And uh, I could hide this other layer or delete that layer to just to get rid of my original if I wanted to do such a thing. So that's how we extract an object from a photo. I'm gonna go do it again on this photo just so you can see how it's done uh, one more time. So again, over here on the left in our selection section, we use our Quick Selection Brush. If it's not selected, come down here in the Tool Options and make sure Quick Selection is selected. And then just drag over your photo. And so we'll do that. We'll get the sweater. Uh, maybe we'll get this, uh, looks like a little coffee cup or something. Um, get your hair, get your sunglasses, get your hair down the side. Again, sometimes, let me just double click to zoom in, it misses the edges, especially when you have something like hair. So back to our quick selection brush, hold our Alt or Option key down and drag around the outside to unselect some of that stuff. Now there's another tool that we might want to use. It's especially good when there's hair involved these little wispy bits of hair. And that's this one right here down in our tool options, this refine selection brush. If you go ahead and select that, you can get a, a different tool that lets me fine tune my selection around things like hair. And so kind of put the edge of the hair in that white section and click and hold. And you can see it goes and works really hard to try and figure out where the hair is and where the hair is not. Um, I can either look at this uh, mask view 
uh, or I can do maybe an on black and start to see exactly what's what's going on with this. And so I just click and hold and drag a little bit um, and it tries to do some nice masking around uh, hairy parts of your photo, so to speak. Um, once you've got that done and the selection made, you can either do the create a layer mask uh, like we did with the other image, or you can just do edit, copy, edit, paste, and that will make a new layer with the object extracted. So I'm going to hide this background layer, double click my hand so we can zoom out a little bit, and there you go, we've extracted uh, an object from our photo even when we had a complicated background. Okay, so now uh, that's how we extract stuff. Uh, we also got asked uh, about how we change the background. And that's pretty easy. Uh, you can either use one of your photos and just drag it in as a new layer, or if you switch to graphics down here in the bottom, uh, let me turn off my highlighter, switch to graphics. Uh, up here in the top, if you set it, the choice to by type, and pick backgrounds. There's a whole bunch of backgrounds that ship with Photoshop Elements. And all you have to do is drag and drop, and that will change the background as simple as that. So if you want that kind of look, uh, or that kind of look, uh, you can very easily do that by just dragging a, one of these included backgrounds uh, onto your photo, and it will create a background layer uh, and drop whatever you dragged in onto that background layer. So let me go do it to the other one. Let's switch to the Christmas ornament. Uh, again, switch to graphics. And gosh, I don't know, maybe pick something like this kind of background. Who knows what you might want behind uh, your photo. And I can still come in and fine tune the edges if I don't like this roughness here. Like if I zoom in and, and this roughness is here. If I switch back to layers, if I either use the uh, layer where I applied that layer mask, I could use an eraser um, to go clean up the edges, something like that. If I hold my shift key down, uh, oops, hold my shift key down, I can erase very straight lines between clicks. Uh, or if I show that other layer again where I still have my mask, I can use masking to show and hide by again painting with black or painting with white. Uh, to get exactly how much of my photo that I want showing and get these edges cleaned up. Double click my hand to zoom out. So there you go. That's how we extract an object. That's how we change a background uh, in Photoshop Elements. Hopefully that'll help you guys. And uh, until next time, enjoy using Photoshop Elements. Take care.